Hi, and welcome to this video on error analysis. We're still working our way through the introduction in this video, and we're going to talk about accuracy and precision. Accuracy is defined as the degree of conformity of a measured or calculated quantity to its actual or true value. In other words, how close your measurement is to the true value. It can be thought of as an archer trying to hit the bullseye. If the archer hits the bullseye, then they, they've won, basically. So if you make a measurement and you get a value, your measurement, that is the true value, what the, the environment, if you're measuring temperature, what the environmental temperature truly is, then you win a prize. Precision, on the other hand, is the degree to which further measurements or calculations will show the same or similar results. Uh, we talked about this before. We talked about reproducibility or repeatability. And precision is how close your measurements are to each other, not necessarily close to the true value. So the difference between accuracy and precision here are a few, uh, uh, I guess, targets. These are targets, and the arrows uh, represent Xs. You can think of those, an analogy is uh, your measurements. If all of your measurements are close to the true value, if these arrows are close to the center, then you would have accurate measurements and precise. Accurate in that they are close to the true value, and precise because they're all close together. Measurements that were inaccurate and precise would be ones, since they're precise, they're all clustered together, but since they're in, inaccurate, they are nowhere near the true value. Measurements that are accurate and imprecise would mean that they, on average, would fall near the center of the target. In the picture or the example of the target on the left, you can see that there is one that is in the center. All the others are about equal distance from the center. And when you average them, it'll give you a value that is close to the center. But they're imprecise because the arrows don't fall close to each other, or the measurements don't fall close to each other. There's lots of scatter. And measurements that are inaccurate and imprecise, as you see on the right, they are nowhere near the center, they're not near the true value, and they are not close to each other at all. So when we say we have high accuracy, it means that you're close to the true value and you have small systematic errors. Systematic errors are errors that can be estimated, and typically they force the measurement in one direction away from the true value. So when you have high accuracy, you have small systematic errors. But when we say we have high precision, we have small random errors. Remember, random errors happen in both directions, and if it, they are random, then they are not close together. So high precision means they're close together, means small randomness. This picture we just looked at, uh, very similar, shows um, accuracy and also precision. I think this picture is from your book. So the goal of our measurements are to have high accuracy High accuracy means low systematic errors, and high precision, which means low random errors. So we'll be close to the center, and all of our measurements will be next to each other in the center of the target. When you uh, identify systematic errors, if you know the true value, then it's pretty easy to figure out how much error, systematic error, there is. And these two examples show um, you know, measurements that are accurate and precise and inaccurate and precise. 
The precision is pretty good. They're all pretty close to each other, but the one on the left is closer to the true value. The one on the right is farther away from the true value. If you know what the true value is, if you know where the center is, then you can pretty much tell if it's inaccurate. But if we take the target away, you'll see that both of these measurements are precise. And without really knowing where the true value is, what our true value is, or where the center of the target is, you would say, gosh, these are pretty good measurements, or these are pretty good arrow strikes. But in fact, they're not. There's just not much randomness, and you don't know how close you are to the true value. So that's a little bit about systematic errors and random errors.